Now there are lots of ways to do the same thing in Photoshop. But when it comes to removing a colour cast fast, this technique is lightning. Ok, so before I show you how fast this technique is, we need to have something to compare it against. So here's two other techniques for removing a colour cast. First of all, we have this image here where there is a definite greenish colour cast. One way I could remove it is by duplicating the image, then going to Filter and Camera Raw Filter. Then in the Basic tab, choosing the White Balance tool, and then using this to click on an area within the picture that is neutral. But what is neutral? Somewhere like this part of the sky maybe. Now we can see that it's removed the colour cast, but with this method we have to be very careful of the area we choose, because if we choose something else, the picture looks very different. And if you click on something that isn't quite neutral, it can go very wrong. So it works, but it can kind of be a bit hit and miss and unpredictable. Now this image has an obvious colour cast, so another way I could remove it is by using a levels adjustment or a curves adjustment. It doesn't matter which one because it's the auto button here that we're interested in and they both have it. So with the adjustment open, hold down the Option key on Mac or Alt key on Windows and then click on the Auto button. This brings up all of these available options and we're going to choose Fine Dark and Light Colours. Straight away we can see it's removed the colour cast. We can also turn on this Snap Neutral Midtones button here and you can see that when I do that, that also makes a difference. Then we'll click OK. So this is before and this is after. So that technique works great but there are quite a few steps involved. So now let's look at this third technique which works great and is really fast. Ok, so with this image open that again has an obvious colour cast, I'll duplicate it, then go to Image, Adjustments, Match Colour. In here I will simply put a tick in this Neutralise checkbox and then click OK. So this is before and this is after. Now if, and this is a big if, you see a difference in the brightness or the luminance of the image, just change the blend mode to colour so that only the colour is affected. Now we can make this fast technique even faster by using an action or even a keyboard shortcut. Let's just go to File and Revert to get the image back to its original state. Now we'll go to the Actions panel and click to create a new action. I'll call this Remove Colour Cast. I'll save it where I want it to be and I'll also assign a function key. I'll choose F19 and I'll assign a colour and I'll choose green. Then I'll press record. Now when you press record, Photoshop is going to record all of the steps that you do for that particular technique. It's not going to record the time it takes you to do it. So if you wanted to go for a cup of tea, it's not going to record the time it takes you to go, get it, come back and carry on. Ok, so now I'll go to Image, Adjustments, Match Colour. Then put a tick in the Neutralise checkbox and click OK. Then stop recording. So now with what I've done from now on, if I want to remove a colour cast, I can either go to the Actions panel, choose the action and then press the play button. Or use the Actions panel in the button mode so that I can quickly see the action because of the colour I assigned to it and then just click on the button and it's done. Or, because I assigned a function key, if I have an image open in Photoshop that has a colour cast, I just have to press that key on the keyboard and it's done. No need to open the actions panel. Find the action and then press play or click on it. And this can be done with this technique because unlike the first two techniques I showed, there's no input needed other than put a tick in the neutralised checkbox. So there you go, a quick technique that we can make 
even quicker. Right, I need to make a move, so just a reminder that it's now just over one week to go until the Lightroom Virtual Summit 2022. I've added a link in the description that you can use to go and grab your free pass to watch all the content. I've also added that link in the top of the comments for this video. But I'll leave you with the usual request that if you've liked this video, go give us a thumbs up and if you haven't already, click on that subscribe button because that's just a great free way that you can support this channel. But for now, that's me, I'm done. I'll see you in the next video.